Did you know you can run Linux on a mainframe? Yes, Linux. You might think that mainframes are only for big banks, airlines, insurance companies, and that may have been true years ago. But nowadays, everyone, including small and medium businesses, are into big data. And to play in the big data playground, they need the infrastructure, tools, and software to do that. So I want to explain how Linux on the mainframe can help you deal with that big data from a hardware viewpoint. But first, I need to dispel a couple of myths. So the first myth is that there's some sort of special kind of Linux that you need to run on the mainframe. The truth is, you can run any version of Linux that you're familiar with. You can run your Red Hat Enterprise Linux, the SUSE Linux Enterprise Server, Ubuntu, Debian, Fedora, yes, even all these little uh, community distributions are possible to run there. And additionally, even though the mainframe has very special components related to storage and networking and lots and lots of different options, inside of Linux, they all look like you'd expect. There's no proprietary tooling in order to install on Linux to be able to see the block device. Your network devices are just going to show up like regular network devices. The second myth is that mainframes are huge. So you may have seen in movies, you know, they bring in the giant wall of lights. Or if you're going back a little further, the mainframe rooms that are huge, they have mainframe servers that look like furniture, basically, or the spinning disks. It's not like that anymore. A standard mainframe these days fits into a 19-inch rack spot. In fact, some of the latest ones are even rack mountable. And so you can just put them in the existing racks that you have. But that doesn't mean they're not special. I had gone to great lengths to say that they are. So what does make these mainframes special? So the first thing that I want to point out is that in order to make this all happen, we need a special chipset. Um, this is custom made for the IBM Z mainframes, and I just mentioned another term, IBM Z. So when you're looking into the infrastructure and looking into mainframe, you may see a few different terms. You may see S390X, you may see IBM Z, you may see Telum when referring to the processor. And these are all kind of the same idea. It's a specific hardware architecture built around this chip. So if we were to draw a little chip here with its processor cores, um, it's everything that, that's built on top of this in Linux is, is compiled for this. And it's got a few special things to it. So the first one, is that it's got um, this thing we call the CPACF, which is the CP Assist for Cryptographic Functions. And that allows you to do a lot of the cryptographic functions. Like in Linux, you would think something like OpenSSL. OpenSSL is used by everything. And that can be leveraged by the CPU core built right in there. The next one I wanted to mention was the NXU, and that is the nested accelerator unit. And that allows you to do the compression and decompression, again, on the hardware itself. In Linux, you'd think about that as something like when you're using gzip in your applications or in, um, when you're compressing and decompressing data. And what that does is it takes away from the, the amount of work that your general processors are doing. Finally, you've got your AI accelerator. So the AI accelerator takes your AI workloads and processes them on a specific chip and allows them access to the cache of the rest of your processors. And that means that the work is prioritized to some degree, but it also is not taking away from, from necessarily general computing power. I also wanted to mention something that is not on the CPU, but is part of the rest of the system. So on a mainframe, you've got these big uh, drawers full of cards that do various things. They connect the mainframe to the rest of the infrastructure in the data center, including storage and other networking devices. But one of the really important ones for us is that it includes this thing called a Crypto Express card. And the Crypto Express card is a hardware security module. The idea of a hardware security module is you want to keep your cryptographic keys really, really safe. And kind of the, the example that a lot of organizations say is like, oh, I've got this, this outsider threat, this bad guy who wants to get access to my data. Well. That's not the only threat you've got. Um, it turns out a lot of organizations are also worried about the internal threat. So this could be people working on the infrastructure who need to know about the keys and they need to know about the data, but they don't necessarily need direct access to those things. So they can use and access a key inside of your HSM, but they don't actually technically have access to using that key to decrypt data and then having access to that customer data. So obviously, I am a big fan of mainframe hardware 
but maybe you're not quite ready to go out and buy one today. So instead, what I'm going to suggest to you is you join us over on the IBM Linux One Community Cloud. That allows you to get access to a VM running Linux. Various distributions are available to you for 120 days to play around maybe with your application, to load up you know, a little website or something that you want to play around with. Um, I like to cat the processor CPU info and then show it to my friends like, ah, I got a VM on a mainframe. <laughs> Um, whatever you'd like to do, I hope you'll join me and check it out. Thanks for watching. And before you leave, please remember to hit like and subscribe.